Season 1 Reloaded from Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone is here, and with it comes a lot of changes, new content, and more. So we're breaking down what you need to know in this one. Drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoy the video, and make sure to subscribe for more Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and other FPS content. I'd love to have you in the community. Finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue-eyed glasses on the market, where code ESPRESSO can get you 10% off your entire order, but more on that later. For now, let's jump into Season 1 Reloaded and everything you need to know about it. So firstly, let's talk about the Warzone changes here with this, because there are some more important, like, large larger scale things here that may affect a larger number of players perhaps, but also there's not as much as MP. So we'll get this out of the way here, the sort of quicker to cover stuff perhaps. But anyways, let's talk about weapon tuning for one, because for a couple of weeks now, weapon tuning has been absolutely needed in the Warzone meta. So is there enough in terms of changes to make anything worthwhile to knock out any strong contenders for that meta and bring others up? Well, here's what changed. For the assault rifles, we saw the Holger 5.56, M13B, and MCW all adjusted. The Holger had a buff here where the max damage was increased to 35, up from 32. The M13B saw a decrease to a majority of its damage properties. Max damage reduced to 23, down from 25. Near to mid damage reduced, min damage reduced. So an overall nerf to the M13B. Though it's not anything that's too detrimental, so you might still see some viable use out of this. The MCW had a handful of of buffs and nerfs overall the max and near to mid damages were increased but the attachments of the 16.5 inch cyclone long barrel and the regal heavy stock two attachments that are pretty solid in terms of like overall meta use those saw reductions in the damage range velocity sprint to fire penalty gun kick benefit horizontal and vertical recoil benefits mobility penalties but the cyclone barrel did see a decrease to the hip fire and tack stance penalty so a slight buff to one of those attributes then we go on a little bit of a nerfing spree here because the battle rifles and the LMGs, all that were touched, well, they got nerfs. The battle rifles of the MTZ 762, that ended up seeing a reduction to the max damage, near to mid damage, and min damage. The LMGs, the Bruin, DG LSW, Pulmiot 762, and the TAC Eradicator all saw minimum and maximum damage range reductions as well. Now, your submachine guns, we did see a bit of some buffs here in this, where the AMR9 saw an increase to the max damage, near to mid damage, and min damage attributes, making this a little bit more powerful in terms of each round expended. The ISO 9mm saw an overall nerf where the max damage, near to mid damage, mid damage, and far to mid damage attributes were all reduced. The Rival 9 saw a slight reduction in that horizontal recoil, making it a bit easier to control, but the Marauder stock also had a nerf to that in particular where the fire aim stability was reduced. The Striker 9 saw a near to mid damage increase and a min damage increase as well. The Cat AMR Sniper Rifle for the Zang 34 barrel only nothing else about the weapon in warzone was touched but for the barrel it saw a damage range benefit reduction and a bullet velocity reduction so a nerf to that overall now we saw a couple of attachments in terms of fundamental categories adjusted so ammunition you had nerfs to the 410 dragon's breath the 12 gauge dragon's breath and the 50 cal spire point rounds saw a buff to the damage range benefits but nerf to the velocity benefit that comes along with that the lasers the sl razor hawk laser light saw a buff as did the verdant hook by but the FSS OV laser and the FTAC Grimline laser both saw reductions and nerfs. The muzzle of the XRK Nightfall suppressor saw a nerf across the board to that as well. So that's your weapon tuning within Warzone and what we have with Season 1 Reloaded. And honestly, my thoughts on it, I don't think that it's really enough. When you see the sheer amount of weapons that are changed in Modern Warfare 3's MP, as we'll get to in a second here, it's really weird that only a fraction of them were added to the Warzone side of things here. Now, it was mentioned that there is more to come in the near future, with the MTZ Interceptor and the WSP Swarm being named specifically for further adjustments coming in that near future update, but still, for right now, I don't think this disrupts a lot of the issues that a lot of people had in terms of the overall meta just enough. I think that you might have some new contenders out there based off of some of the weapons been adjustments made so far but i mean the ones that are probably still super annoying are probably still going to be super annoying in terms of that gameplay experience now moving away from weapon tuning it was mentioned that we had some updates to map polish where they said in an effort to provide players with a smoother more immersive experience our teams have put in an extensive effort towards identifying and addressing various concerns with map geometry they're happy to report that they've changed so far over 50 mantle spots 50 mounting spots fixed over 150 areas affected by clipping meaning that you could end up clipping through a wall or like under the map or something like that they fixed over 20 known exploitable areas and improved lighting in 43 buildings so 
So that's probably going to be something that is still continued on into the future. But for right now, this update did bring along some overall air quote map polish once again. Audio was something that was adjusted as well, where they stated that they were working on making improvements to audio occlusion. They made adjustments to the plain audio. Music channels now are more properly designated where the cinematic music will now no longer play on multiple tracks, but only that of the cinematic music track. Then allied sounds, they said they reduced the volume of friendly slides, jumps and lands to better distinguish between friendly and enemy behavior, which is definitely nice. I feel like there's a lot of times where again, I'll feel like I need to get ready for a gunfight or I feel like I hear somebody behind me and then I turn away from a gunfight that may be coming my way to think that I'm going to be snuck up on, but it's just my teammate. And then we both get ambushed or something. So it's nice to have that distinguishing factor beyond that. We saw a bunch of different changes in regards to things like black sites, zip lines, tracker grenades, the underwater rebreather and other items, as well as things like EOD and quick fix adjustments as well. But overall, that's the Warzone side of things and what changed. Of course, you do have that new Champions Quest coming back with it. But without the Covert Exfils and the Weapons case, that is something that still, I think it's kind of a little bit empty on the Warzone side of things here. So now jumping over to the Modern Warfare 3 side of things, as I mentioned, there is a ton of stuff here in regards to weapon tuning in particular that just kind of in terms of quantity far outclasses what we saw within Warzone. A lot of the stuff though, to be fair, is weapon tuning for Modern Warfare two weapons in Modern Warfare 3. So kind of bringing a lot of these weapons up into the sort of viable option pool for what you can use in MP. You're not going to get immediately outclassed by something, but you'll see all these things rolling on screen now for you to check out in its entirety, just kind of breezing over some of them because there have been, again, ones that are one-to-one -one with Warzone, but also ones that aren't exactly one-to-one. -one. Like the Holger 5.56 was adjusted, but it wasn't the same thing. In this, it was increased sprint to fire time from 231 milliseconds to 252 and did not do anything to increase any max damages like we saw in Warzone. So I think the big winners out of this are again those Modern Warfare 2 weapons, your STB 556, Castoff 762, Chimera, Tempest Razorback, the Castoff 74U, the Cronin Squall, FTAC Recon, SO14. The Fennec was a really good one that got adjusted here in the multiplayer side of things. But basically every single weapon category has been adjusted to at least bring some Modern Warfare 2 weapon up into the fold here with it. So a lot of weapon tuning in that regard. We also saw on Modern Warfare 3 side of things audio adjustments again made here where teammates will now no longer play enemy sound effects upon sliding and landing from fall. It improved footstep audio for players walking on puddled surfaces and also resolved issues with audio during the infiltration sequences on multiple maps. One thing that is also interesting to me here, especially because we have the introduction of ranked play coming today, is that we saw a handful of maps in the overall rotation, not necessarily just the maps in the CDL rotation, but we had reworked hardpoint capture locations, size and associated spawn points for the maps of High Rise, Invasion, Karachi, Sub Base, Terminal, and Underpass. So a handful of maps that it's interesting that we see this kind of stuff made in the same update as a major ranked update going out. So we'll see if that adjusts any of the initial play here at this, if there's any sort of probably backlash at some points, which from the larger competitive community and those in the CDL, I mean, major one is starting on the 25th here. So like in about a week next weekend. So interesting to see if that will adjust anything in regards to how people handle that going forward. But anyways, those were adjustments made to the overall maps as well. Well, now talking ranked play, that was something that will be coming today, but as of this video being published, it may or may not be out just yet. It was mentioned that it would be a sort of staggered release still coming today, but not immediately as of the update itself going out whenever this video was started to be recorded and again, maybe published. It might be out by now, might not be, but just know that some point during the day here today, it will open up. So if you haven't seen it just yet, you're not alone. You're not crazy. It is something that is held off just a little bit here at this. And then beyond that, well, before we jump into the content itself that we've talked about a plenty number of times, there was just an absurd number of bug fixes and everything like that that came along for both the Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone side of things here, just like a wall of text. So that then mixed in with all the new content of Rio, the new multiplayer map, the new modes of headquarters, team gunfight, infected, and the new weapons, the Tac of Alvary and HRM9, along with the new Soup Siege event within multiplayer and all. You, of course, have all that stuff we've already talked about, so we don't have to go too far in depth with that, but that is essentially season one reloaded in a nutshell. All the big changes here that you should definitely be aware of and the functional changes as well made on a foundational level. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Before we do, though, make sure to check out my friends over at Gamer 
customer advantage for what I believe are the best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with these guys for nearly three years now at this point and cannot recommend them enough. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there. And I definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Now, full transparency, they are a bit of an investment, but I do think your vision is absolutely worth investing into, especially if you're like me and you're looking at a monitor, phone, or you're gaming for a good chunk of the day. Now, if you guys would like to learn more about it, at the very least, I'd recommend checking out their website. They can better break down the science and all the specifics of their product way better than I ever could. But what I can personally say is that I'd highly recommend them. Again, worked with these guys for three years now, have loved every second of it. So if you guys want to check it out, learn more, check the link in the description below. And if you want to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO for 10% off your entire order. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. That's season one reloaded. We're probably going to have a second video here on the channel later tonight, as well as, of course, keeping up to date with all sorts of meta and weapon shifts for best classes and everything upcoming, stealth changes if there are any to find, leaks, Easter eggs, all that kind of stuff. We got you covered here on the channel. But for now, drop your thoughts down below. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe for more Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and other FPS content. I'd love to have in the community. But that said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.